Hello again, a new day, a new project, and here we go, straight from Czech Republic, from Huntek, I got a new toy, and this is... Pam -pam. DCO 2D15 from Huntek, my new oscilloscope. You know, I don't want to make a, a video about, uh, you know, featuring and uh, stuff like this. I just want to put it on and I want you to witness that. That's all. Because we have plenty of tutorials all over YouTube about this oscilloscope and I know there are some problems, some bugs and whatever. You see, I don't care. As long as uh, I have it on my desk, it's perfect. And by the way, I'm not such a great specialist to be able to use all this function this uh, oscilloscope have anyway. So I'm going to use it mostly for audio stuff and uh, things, you know, low frequency and stuff like that. There we go. It's looking nice, bright new. This is the cable, obviously, European plug. There we go. Let me have the mains on. Huh? What do you think? Is it working or not? And, of course, we need this, the probes, documents. Okay, USB cable and some other probes with a crocodile connector. I really don't know. They should send me two of these better, but I'll buy some extra. That's not a problem. Okay, guys. Yes. Power. Let me have the cable on. And first attempt. There we go. Beautiful. Channel 1, channel 2. Okay. I really don't know how to use it, but I learn fast. DC. We have the DC here. Okay, let me let me have a banana alligator crocodile connector here. Channel 1. And Oh, which is the ground? Oh, okay, this is the ground and this is the signal. Whoops! <laughs> it's working. I can hear all kind of relays in there. Okay, here we have time. It's responsive. Beautiful. Okay, so far. So far it's okay. I saw a lot of uh, tutorials about uh, you know freezing when you move the the wave up and down. So far nothing happens. Update system info. All right, here we are. So, it's version firmware 3204. I think it's the latest one. And uh, I remember they fixed a lot of problems about this but let's face it it's a it's a pretty new software and uh, hardware so i believe it's a lot of uh, work to make it working perfect but like i said <laughs> i'm still learning about these guys i used oscilloscopes before and i even I had the Hantec uh, USB, mostly for audio, but this is another league. This is absolutely another league. What we got here, the alligator, but I should have the, where is the top? Oh, here? 
No. Hmm. This is a 100 mega, 150 megahertz. Beautiful. Let's see about calibration. Great. Let's make this guy a little better. Oh, just a little over calibrated. Just a little bit. Let's fix it. It's very easy to do that. We have a variable capacitor here and do this and back. I think this is perfect. Right. But you know, we should have a kind of tip to have it inside here. How can we do that? Okay, so now it's the arbitrary function generator. We have a frequency of, uh, let's see, 21 megahertz. Okay, let's go further. Maximum 25 megahertz. And it's looking very nice. Okay, let's get amplitude a little lower 1.4 volts i don't know but there are a lot of uh, talking about bugs you know positioning i don't see any problem with this guy so far but if you consider you know this kind of connection of course it should be it should be a better one so that's it for today now I have to download the manual and to start learning, you know, the learning curve of this guy. It's really huge, you know, a lot of function and a lot of uh, details and a lot of things you have to know before using a tool like this. Uh, I'm really happy. It's exactly what I need for my experiments and so on. Thank you for now. I'll be back with some new projects and news, of course. In the meantime, please like, please subscribe. And of course, don't forget, have fun. Bye bye. Thank you.